Hi, Ryan Stanelson here with Accelerate Marketing, and I am giving you the December local service ad partner update. So there's some really good information here on this update. It, uh, we're, I'm giving it to you uh, in, in uh, January here, a little bit late, but I did want you to at least get this. So let me just go and, and uh, go to my screen here. So here's the, the partner update. You can see some of the updates are, are pretty good. The headshot rejection uh, reasons launched. So basically, if you guys experience any problems with getting headshots accepted or rejected, you can you know that it can be a very frustrating process. Well, now in order to remedy that, what they've done is they've given you a place to go to in order to um, identify what specifically was wrong with the headshot. So um, they'll give you a, a reason and that'll be displayed for any photos. You can see headshot rejection reasons are now available for providers to see the business verification tab in their dashboard. So you'll be able to see this and then you can read more about this here. Previously rejected photos will not show the reasons. That's another caveat there. So, so DBA in the signup flow launch. So what this means is that during the signup flow for a, a new CID, providers now have the ability to add a business registration name if different from their name on the local service ad account. So this is nice because you know a lot of times you guys have business names that are different from the name that's on your local service ad. So um, this will allow you to remedy that, okay? So you'll be able to, to uh, effectively uh, deal with that that way. This is a big update. Evidence support for removing a field worker in the background check process. So if you know how frustrating it is when you add somebody additionally, an additional field worker to your application, to your background check process, and they're no longer there, or maybe you didn't mean to add them and they're there, and so now you've gotta go and chase down these people to, in order to finish your background check process. Now you can remove those people with this uh, support flow here, these steps. That's nice, so you can read the steps here and you can see exactly how to do that. Some increasing delays with background checks due to cl uh, court closures. Because of COVID, um, and we experienced this in Georgia with some of our clients, definitely can tell you that yes, there was definitely some delays. Um, there are several counties in California, um, and then the entire state of Kentucky, Michigan, and Georgia. Um, so just be aware of that. The headshots uh, will now show all time, all the time for professional service providers. So this is nice because you know previously this wasn't available for all service providers and also in in all areas. So now for all professional service providers you are going to have your headshot showing. So that means for all attorneys, for all realtors, and for all financial service professionals, okay? Which is nice because pre previously it was only available to some attorneys and some areas and some realtors, and, and I don't even think it was available to financial service providers, uh, but now it's for everybody, okay? So some really good updates there. Now uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please, co please comment below if you have questions, subscribe to the channel. And, and we will, uh, when you subscribe, we'll, we'll, you'll get notifications. And, a, and a, um, also just check the little, the bell there too, because that'll give you notifications whenever we get any updates uh, for local service ads. So this is a great way for you to find out what's going on. Um, and really it's the only place that I know of on the internet where you can get these updates that are fresh coming right from the source, which is coming direct from local service ads at Google. So anyway, thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.